Rick back at the naturopath. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Before we jump into this video, don't forget at the end of the video, you can download some free resources that I've created just for you. The Candida Diet and Cleanse Starter Guide, the ultimate Candida uh, shopping list, the diet shopping list, and also the Candida, Candida Symptom Tracker, which you're gonna find very useful. So these are all for free. So at the end of the video, just jump into yeastinfection.org forward slash goodies and you can, down, you can download these things at no charge at all. If you have any questions, remember you can always ask those and either I can get back to you or the team. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch up with you at the end of the video. Eric Backer, the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Let's talk about some key ways on dealing with an uncomfortable condition called jock itch. Something that many men face, you know, lots of guys. In my years in the clinic, I saw many men uh, as patients, uh, all kinds of lines of work. Jock itch isn't just uh, the guy in the boiler suit. Uh, it's not the mechanic that always crawls under the car. It could also be the executive or the CEO in charge of a billion dollar company. And that's exactly one patient I had, a billion dollar patient in charge of a huge company with massive jock itch. The guy's a pain in the butt, to be honest. And he got rid of the jock itch, uh, but a difficult person to work with, quite needy and demanding like some billionaires can be, I suppose. So what are some of the best solutions on dealing with jock itch, how you can really get on top of this problem because it's painful, it's embarrassing, it's awful. And many men have this problem every day. I often see comments uh, on our YouTube channel talking about how it's ending my life, it's ruining my life. And I had one male patient on the phone in tears, um, like, a, like a little crying like a little baby. This is a guy about in his 40s or 50s uh, telling me that he couldn't live like this anymore. I don't think many people understand um, how bad jock itch really can be. It can get to the point where you don't want to live anymore. Um, some of the pictures that were sent to me were just dis disgusting on you know the extent of the, the jock itch. But there's always a solution. But the problem is people often let conditions get so far out of hand that they want to try and claw their health back when they're in a really, really, really chronic state. Because they'll try anything, you know? So <clears throat> some of the best solutions um, for jock itch are actually some of the easiest ones, but also there's some of the most difficult to implement. So I want you to always remember this. If you've got a serious jock itch problem, you're not going to turn the whole thing on a dime. You're not going to, within 48 hours, be all symptom free. It doesn't work like that, right? So the first thing you need to do is to calm yourself down and understand it's a process you've got to go through that's going to take several months, maybe even years, if you've had jock itch for, I've seen some cases, 10, 15 years duration. So you need to shift the environment. So if it's a very chronic condition and you are a guy who's a blue collar worker, you'll probably know what I mean by blue collar worker. I was a blue collar worker all my life. Blue collar is the guy with a shovel, the guy outside, the guy with the you know, driving the truck or, or fixing the road up. The white collar is the guy, you know, sitting up there in an office thinks he, he thinks he's important because he's got a white shirt on and a computer in front of him. Uh, but as I said, jock itch can affect anybody. So you need to change the environment. If you've got jock itch, look at your current employee. Look at where you're working. In some cases, I've had to fire people. I've actually fired people. Would you believe it? I was just like Trump. You're fired. Get out of here. You're fired. So some people need firing from their job before they clear up their jock itch. And that's happened on a few occasions where the person had to wear a particular type of clothing. And I had that in one case of a guy who was um, a spray painter for um, aeroplanes. I think it was some aeroplane spray painting person. It's serious bad jock itch all around the buttock area and around the penis area, all inflamed, red burning. And it was just a hot environment. He was basically in a hazmat suit, you know, so many hours a day and sweating and in a very hot environment. And I said to man, you just got to sack yourself. You got to just give yourself the job. Get out of this job for a good 12 months. Now, he was a senior technician. So he got his job back, of course, but he cleared the jock itch up and he went back on his terms, on his conditions. So he had so many days on, so many days off. And we had him in different type of clothing. I had him showering twice a day, not once a day. 
So let's go over some of the instructions I gave this guy. And the key ones were basically, well, he had to get out because it was a serious condition. Maybe you can't do that, but you need to shift the environment. All right. So this meaning you need to change your uh, personal uh, grooming behavior. Any guy with jock itch needs a shower twice a day minimum. Three times is even better, but twice when you get up in the morning and before you retire at night. That, that's a given. You have to have that uh, showering regime. Even better if you can have a light shower three times per day. So I want you to get a, a tea tree oil soap. And the name of the brand is called Thursday, as in Friday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, whatever. Thursday Plantation. You know, plantation, like a coconut plantation. That's how you spell it. Thursday Plantation. That's the brand. Now they bring out a nice yellow soap. It's a tea tree oil soap. And that's the one to use. So you go to your shower or your bathroom, you throw out all the other soap, you get 10 cakes of that stuff. And that's what you use until you've no longer got jock itch. You don't use any other soap. You just use that one, right? And of course, that's your soap. It's not like your partner's soap. So the showering is extremely important and so is the drying. Second thing is you need to cut the pubic area away. So all around the male area, so trim it. I'm not saying waxing and stuff like that. And I'm just saying keep it really, really, really short so you don't trap the heat around the leg area and all that. Hair's got to go. Get it off. Shave it down. Um, cotton underclothing or something that really absorbs moisture. So no poly, no blends with polyester or anything. The best, of course, is wool or merino, but it's bloody expensive. But I find the merino um, underclothing to be incredibly good because it breathes so much. So you never feel hot or cold when you wear merino or wool, wool undergarments. You don't feel heat or you don't feel cool. You just feel you, okay? So cotton, cotton or merino. Now, every single day, you need to change your clothing. Here's what you also do with serious jock itch, is you go out and buy 30, 40 pairs of cotton underclothing. So let's say you're a size M or L or XL, whatever. Just go down to the local, I don't know, local store and get yourself at least 20 or 30 pair. And this will allow you to have, when you have your shower in the morning, okay, you put clean underclothing on. When you have a shower in the night, you put clean underclothing on. So you see what I mean? You're disrupting, disrupting, disrupting that whole area constantly with the soap. So you also, in summertime, I'd like you to spend time in the ocean. So go swimming. So if you can, like a bit of sun today, you're lying out there and getting sun on the area. Just watch the neighbors, don't take photos and put it on Facebook and stuff or start calling law enforcement and say there's a weirdo next door, okay? You've got to be in, today's a bit different. It's different when I was a kid. You could lie in the backyard with no clothes on, you know, you wouldn't get on Snapchat within five minutes, you know? Today, now you can't do anything without, within 10 minutes, 50 people have got a picture of you with nothing on, you know? So watch out. But you know what I mean? Sunshine, salt water, clean underclothing, <clears throat> lack of pubic hair, constant disrupting the environment is going to go a long way and get the condition smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's the environment. That's the, okay, the lifestyle. But then there's also what goes in here. It's the diet. And that needs to change. So you need to look long and hard at what you got in your glass in front of you. Is it beer? If it's beer, well, man, that's bad news because you really, really have to nail this alcohol issue so the worst cases of jock itch i've often seen are in guys who drink a lot of booze so needless to say you've got to look at the glass and think do i like my bud budweiser more than my butt itch or well, what am i going to do here you know itchy butt especially with jock itch is a sign of a major yeast issue going on internally in the rectal area um, and if you've got that itchy butt, plus all around the scroll area, all itchy and rashes down the leg, you seriously need to curtail the alcohol um, addiction. Otherwise, you're forever more going to be, uh, you know, jumping up and down because you've got pain there. When you have a shower, you get water on the cracks and the burns. And I've had jock itch. I know what it's like. It's a demon. It's a demon. It's terrible. It ruins your intimacy. You know, you feel embarrassed all the time. You can't scratch when you're in public and there's always pain and... It's just misery. So you need to make that call. Are you going to keep drinking or are you going to finally get rid of the jock itch? It's your call. Second, once you've looked at the alcohol, you've got to look at the food. What am I drawn to? Do I love junk? 
Am I working in a job that's stressful? Am I eating inappropriately? Am I eating too many times a day, too many snack foods? Am I eating candy? Am I eating sugar? Am I feeding a yeast problem here? Okay, you could be feeding a yeast problem. It needs to change. You need to disrupt the yeast cycle by stopping these foods, by slowing down their intake. I never ever encourage people overnight to stop. That's called cold turkey, okay? We don't want cold turkey, we want warm turkey, meaning you slowly, slowly cut these foods out of your diet. You slowly disassociate, disassociate with these guys that are sitting down drinking beer all afternoon watching football. You just can't keep doing that. If you want to change the condition, you have to change your lifestyle and your diet. And if you do it sufficiently long enough, like most of my patients, you'll nail this condition. It'll be gone. There's no magic secret tricks or silver bullets of jock itch. It's got to come from you. you know? And that's the hard part. Don't go to other people. Look inside yourself and make those changes. And not only will the jock itch go away, I guarantee you, your gut problems will go away because nearly every patient I've seen with jock itch has some gut problem. Bloating, burping, cravings, itching. They'll have some type of issue. Weight problem. Can't gain weight. Can't lose weight. Can't sleep properly. Most people with jock itch have got sleeping problems because they're lying there in bed scratching and itching all night. What kind of a tormented life is that to lead? All you've got to do is discipline your discipline. I think you know what I mean. Check out my other videos on jock itch because you can nail this thing, but it's got to come from you. Thanks for tuning in. Things. It's Eric Backer again, the naturopath. I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, go to yeastinfection.org forward slash goodies if you want to download my free resources I've created just for people like you. These are things I used in the clinic for patients and you'll find them very useful. It's the free candida diet, the cleanse. So it's a good introduction on how to set your program together. There's the ultimate candida diet shopping list. And there's also the candida symptom tracker. Yeastinfection.org forward slash goodies. Thanks for tuning in and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.